Hello, it's Jason Pamp, Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. I'm going to make this intro brief before the brick uh, cutter starts cutting next door. Anyways, I am uh, in Vassal Ranch in New Braunfels, Texas, really close to Green, Texas, one of my favorite plots, favorite spots in the area. Anyways, I'm out here because one of my clients is getting this chest bar home built behind me. This is the Michelle plan in this neighborhood. They also call it McKinsey plan in a different neighborhood. And I just found out that they're also going to call the same plan the Mia plan. So if you're looking at this, trying to do some research, this plan can be called any of them. Anyways, I love this plan regardless what the name of it is. Let's go check it out. Uh, I really do like the location of this community. And this is, of course, one of my favorite uh, plans that Chessmore builds. Uh, we're kind of in the back corner of Russell Ranch, so there are still construction going on. But soon this construction is going to be done, and uh, this house is now already scheduled to be closing uh, kind of like the, towards the end of May. Alright, let's head on inside. Grass is going to be coming in in just a few days, and landscape. You already see where they've got some uh, circle lines coming in for the landscaping, so that's always nice to have. Love the uh, brick design and rock. Let me guess, they're going to finish up with the cutting just as I finish this. Nope, sounds like they're still doing some more cutting. All right, we've got a beautiful eight foot door that uh, the wind's kind of opened up for us a little bit. It's a little breezy, not too bad. But love the floor. Let me go ahead and shut this so you can hear. But man, I love the wide entryway, the uh, tray ceiling up top. Coming right into the right, you have your secondary bedrooms. And these are good sized bedrooms. With some nice, oh, it's gonna be a little bit of a Jack and Jill setup here. Let me go ahead and show you the closet first. Yeah, decent sized closet, pretty nice. And we'll just kinda head over to the other bedroom because they're gonna be sharing the sink. But, and the bathtub and toilet. Oh, I missed this one. Yeah, toilet up, sorry. But then you got this whole bedroom on this side with kind of matching showers. So if you got the kids that are bickering about size of the closets, well, you both get the same size closet. Problem solved. But yeah, eight foot doors throughout. And we got some trades taking their breaks in the uh, garage, so I'm not going to go in there, but it is a three-car garage. But there's your laundry room with your attic access. This can be your powder room that's open to the general public when you're hosting. And I like the fact that the powder room is up towards the front of the house, so you can kind of get away from your guests if your guests are in the main portion of the house because there's some things you just don't want to hear if you're hosting a party. All right, you do have the formal dining room set up on this side. I can tell by the light that they chose, but you always have the option of you can put different lights in here and use this room for whatever you want to use it for. But on this side, you do have a true flex room. So we can turn this into a game room, movie room, whatever you want. Uh, looks like they're going to have some entertainment space here. I can see the uh, blanks covering up the ports for bringing the wires up there and being able to hang a TV on this side. Really nice. This is a perfect place to be able to put a TV. Shut the door so the wife doesn't complain about your uh, game or video games being played too loud or whatever movie you've got going. You just shut the door and then happy wife. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead on to the main area. And I love this plan because you do have, if you're hosting a party, you can put a little buffet type line set up right there. Really neat and lots of shelving. But yeah, check out the size of this kitchen. Big, beautiful kitchen. This island is massive. So it's gonna be really nice. Put a few uh, chairs right there. Perfect spot right in front of all this for your uh, breakfast table. But they went with the double stacked ovens and the microwave combo. Hopefully this isn't too high. I am 5'9". I've got the camera up my 
eye level. So hopefully this isn't too high for you guys. No uh, vertically challenged people trying to use the microwave. This is a gas community. Looks like they're doing something with the pressure stuff. So that's why this drawer isn't fully closed right now, but there's gonna be a nice gas cooktop in there. We'll make sure I don't forget the pantry. It's kind of a standard corner pantry. See that a lot. But we do have a nice big single basin sink. Love that. And show off the view from behind the sink. Uh, with this plan, you definitely get plenty of lighting in here because you can see lighting all the way around. And this is a really big living space area. So yeah, you can always have like one couch here, another couch there, use that as your main wall and just plenty of space. Love the windows and I'm glad my clients got this lot. I did a video tour of this lot before they started building the house to help my clients choose this lot. But yeah, cause yeah, look at your view out the back. The sun's not gonna be on the back part of the house here. I believe it's gonna be back off this way. So you're gonna have some shade, but yeah, nothing big, big old farmland behind you. And this is the back edge of the community. Last time I was out here, they were just starting this house, but you're really gonna have some nice privacy back here. And this is a big yard, especially for new construction. And it goes back out and around the side. So, wow, you could definitely put a big size pool in here and still have plenty of space to do whatever you want. Because yeah, nobody's building. Well, Chessmore is not gonna be building back behind here. That's kind of the edge of the community. So it's kind of nice. On the back, Back there, you see construction shed. There are gonna be some houses back that way, but nothing back in this space, unless some developer comes along down the road, but right now it's not slated. You do have your gas port, so if you wanted to put an outdoor kitchen in this space, you can just fine. So I'm really liking this lot. And being in the back part of the community, you're not gonna have a lot of road traffic once the construction is finished. All right, let's head on into the master bedroom. Got a few things that are gonna be touching up, but yeah, this house is still, as I'm filming it, it's 19 April, 2023. And uh, yeah, we still got just over a month left before closing. I talked to the construction manager, he's like, yeah, we could close this house in shush. Oh. Uh, thank you, Siri. Love you, Siri. All right, back to the video. All right. <laughs> good times. All right, good good sized room here. Got once again tray ceiling and uh, yeah, nice French doors leading into the bathroom. And I really like how this bathroom came out. You do have the dual vanities, one on each side. Some nice lights and this beautiful freestanding soaker tub. Uh, it's always surprising how much these freestanding tubs cost, just how they have to do the plumbing for it but uh, another vanity right next to it. You've got the, uh, I guess, opaque windows or you can't see through it. So that's always a nice for standing up in the tub, but a big, big shower with a shelf, very nicely done. And they took the tile all the way up to the ceiling. Just really, really nice. See, they got some paint touch-ups to still do there, but that's gonna get taken care of. Oh, water closet. I did catch that toilet before I started filming. Good size master bedroom closet as well. So we got multiple shelving, uh, a rack for your dresses, and this is pretty much the brains of the area. All your ethernet cables are gonna run through here. It's a good spot. They got a plug in here, so if you wanna put your modem in there, you can, and tie everything together up, and it's real handy. So, and if your Wi-Fi isn't strong enough, having your router just in this corner, I highly recommend uh, Netgear uh, has a modem with like three satellites on it, Orbi. The Netgear Orbi, uh, I have that in my house and it really does give you good Wi-Fi coverage throughout. But this is a beautiful home and like I said, I just really love the wide entrance. Three car garage, uh, 
McKinsey plan. I don't have the square footage right off the top of my head, but I will put it in the comment section once I upload this video. But I do like this plan and I love the size of this backyard. And Green Hall and the town of Green is just down the road from here. I have sold houses in this community before and I've talked to the clients and they just love being able to Let's go have a glass of wine down at Green and just enjoy some live music. You can because it's just literally a five minute drive from here. Really nice to have. Uh, let's wrap a tour of this McKinsey plan slash Michelle plan slash Mia plan being built by a chess and they got different plans based on different regions I guess New Braunfels is now Central Texas San Antonio is considered South Texas that's why they got a couple different names I don't know why these corporate big wigs make things complicated but sometimes they do but the builder themselves is phenomenal I really like Chessmar as a builder and if you're considering moving to this uh, Texas Hill Country area, New Braunfels, Bernie, Bulverde, or even Shirt Cibolo, that's where I live, uh, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're looking for a real estate agent that does these video tours, my current clients are out of state right now for this house. So they haven't even walked this house yet, but I'm super excited for them because it's turning out beautifully. All right, I want you to hit that like button and of course subscribe to my channel and keep sharing these videos with your friends. I am a local realtor. I do these videos to help build my business and to help my client. All right, take care now, bye.